Okay, Charlie, first off, talk about the uh, World University Games this year. It was a great experience. Gold medal, second time in three years with USA Basketball. Uh, talk about your experience from that. It was a great experience with USA Basketball. It was a little different. I went from assistant coach, which I really actually enjoyed. <laughs> I just had my little responsibilities to having a little more responsibility, but great staff. It was just such an honor to represent my country and a uh, great team. You know, young ladies that obviously are some of the best players in the country that, that really represented our our country very well and were very responsive to, to me. And it's, uh, it's a challenge putting a team together in a month, you know, or, or literally less. And uh, they, they rose to the challenge and uh, we all had fun. Serbia was complex, uh, interesting place. Um, I'm actually kind of quoting our President Crow on that, by the way. He told me that on the front end, and I concur. Um, very interesting. Don't know if I'll go back, but met some really great people. And so just overall, um, I really felt like I learned and I, and I grew as, as a person and as a coach. Uh, shortly before leaving for there, you guys moved in the Weather Up Center and uh, now back and into it. Just talk about the Weather Up Center and just what a great thing it is for this program. Well, if you haven't gone to our, our Cribs video, um, you need to go watch it and you can kind of get a, a preview. We didn't show you everything in that video, but this has just been, I never even dreamt of something this nice, to be honest. I, I really didn't. I thought we'd get a practice gym. I never thought I would have these amazing office suites and, and uh, all these amenities for our student athletes at ASU. I mean, we have so much already to get all of this on top of what we've already had is, uh, I guess if I had dreamed about it, what I would dream for um, or more. So I know that people that have come in here um, have been incredibly impressed. And if, you know, more, more importantly, our players are just uh, you know, taking advantage of it and, and, and really appreciative um, because I think if you ask them, it's, it's, it's more than anything they would have dreamed of too. You know, it's just, it's an amazing time for ASU women's basketball right now. Also during the summer, you were appointed vice president of the Women's Basketball Coach Association. Uh, talk about that, uh, being elected by your peers, and just what your role will be and some of the things involved with that. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I, was, I was thrilled and honored to be invited just to be on the board of directors. Never really envisioned much more than you know serving for a couple years and maybe hopefully helping in some small way. And uh, then when that opportunity came up, I, I kind of stepped back and go, okay. <laughs> you know, time is, is never... Uh, abundant, you know, with, with, uh, with my situation, but um, I didn't have to think that long. You know, Gino, uh, who's our president right now, is, is who I'm serving with and will eventually replace, and he's just an amazing person, and, you know, Beth Bass, our president of the WBCA, is really doing great things. So hopefully, again, I can help in some small ways. It's, it's a great honor to be elected by your peers, obviously, and uh, I'm hoping I'm, I'm, I'm positive that I'm going to work as hard as I can to, you know, not disappoint them and, and hopefully leave some sort of legacy in, in terms of growing our game. Talk about your summer personally. I know obviously very busy with uh, Serbia, but then I know you've had a couple of weddings, some family time, getting to see Brianna January play uh, Mercury against Mercury. Talk about some of the things, that your highlights of your summer up to this point. Yeah, well, all of that happened in about a week <laughs> and a half. The, the weddings, seeing Bri and some family time. I went straight from Serbia to recruiting, which is a huge part of, of what I do because those are our new family members for, for ASU. And I got to see some great, great basketball players and, and I enjoyed that and followed them around. And, and that's um, a great time. It's our main evaluation time for college women's basketball. Uh, but yeah, I got off the road and I've, I've been able to be home for about five weeks. And uh, my niece got married and my kids were in the wedding and they had tuxedos on. And, just glad they didn't ruin them. <laughs> but we, we have. We've had some good fun time. And, uh, we're getting a puppy. Yes, Sparky. A little Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Some people already know about Sparky. Some people don't. Stay tuned for my next blog and we, you'll hear more about Sparky. Uh, that's outstanding. Um, well, have you guys already, you guys already have him or is it something? No, he's on order. <laughs> okay. He's going to be flying in from Missouri in about two weeks. That's great news. Um, it's very early. Uh, look at last year. Obviously, it was a great, great year, great season. But you lose six seniors from that squad. Very early. Look at it on paper. What What are your early impressions of this year's team? Well, I'm loving this year's team so far. I mean, they the returners all came in in great shape. They all came in improved, better than they were last year. 
Um, we knew we needed to have a great off season if we were going to stay where we were at or even basically take that final step to, to play for a national championship. So um, we really challenged them. They rose to the challenge. They're looking really good. Um, yeah, and even with Diamond Simon out, I mean, we lost six seniors, but I'll go ahead and add that we don't have our, our top leading scorer and starting point guard. So seven players removed from last year. We prepared, though. You know, we knew we were going to have sort of this mass exodus, if you will, a lot of players graduating, and we had three redshirting, and we signed a couple of junior college players. One is also going to have to redshirt this year, but the other one is uh, very eligible and very talented. So I'm really excited. We have really 13 players on our roster this year that will compete, and then we have two that are redshirting, Diamond Simon, again, our, our leading scorer from last year, starting point guard, All-American candidate, is going to sit out this year because she did need two surgeries after um, she went down in the final game of our regular season last year at Stanford. So um, our goal is to, her goal and our goal is to get her back to All-American form um, so that she can help uh, lead us to a national championship game uh, in her senior season and uh, go on for a very illustrious pro career. She is way ahead of schedule. She's doing unbelievably well. And then our new signee, Markeisha Patterson, um, ironically has the exact same situation as Diamond, where she had a redo with an ACL. This happened at her uh, community college, Central Arizona. So she's going to, she's had two surgeries, and she's a few weeks behind in her uh, post-op, but um, gonna use this year, obviously, to rehab and, and get her ready for, hopefully, uh, two great seasons as a sub -double. On paper, a tough schedule this year. Just talk about that, some of the challenges. As always, we schedule tough. You know, we want to absolutely be prepared, not only for the Pac-10 Conference to position ourselves to win a championship, but for the NCAA Tournament to position ourselves to win a championship. So I think the schedule more than uh, meets the, uh, the standard of, of tough. I tried to not over-schedule my team because they're a little bit young, but we, uh, we had actually a couple teams drop us, so we picked up some games, and you know, it all worked itself out. We opened with a uh, incredible program, South Dakota State's coming off a 34 win season, I believe it was. So that's our opening game. We've got to play at Xavier. Um, they're going to be, they get their star post player back with their other star post player, and, and uh, you know, they were a top 15 program last year. Um, we played both Baylor and Texas A&M. Uh, on a neutral floor in Las Vegas. Book your tickets now. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to have at least four ranked teams, uh, potentially at least two being top 10 teams on our preseason schedule, and some other good quality opponents. I mean, I'm not going to list everybody, but um, as always, the Sun Devils schedule tough. And, at, you know, really, it's, it's, it's proven to um, really prepare us. To be peaking at the end of the season. So. Um, talk about the month of October. You've got uh, fit bones, and then of course uh, practice will begin. Well, October is the start of basketball season. So yeah, we start practice October 16th, and a big event that we always host is the we'll have the sixth annual uh, Arizona Osteoporosis Coalition Fit Bones Challenge. Uh, it's a mouthful. Um, what that is, it's it's a uh, hot shot competition in teams. So we have an adult division and we have a youth division. The youth division does have to be eighth grade and under. So if you're high school aged, you're not allowed to compete for, because of NCAA rules. So we apologize for that. But you can definitely come down and enjoy the event. I think obviously our number one goal is to raise money for awareness and prevention of osteoporosis, which a lot of people don't know can be a fatal disease and is very, very prominent in women. Um, so we, we really tried to do our part in our community to help with this cause and, uh, and hang out with us, hang out with our coaches, hang out with our team. It's a great opportunity just to come down. We have snacks and, and drinks and uh, it's a really fun evening. So if you want to shoot, get signed up now. Call the ASU Women's Basketball Office, 480-965-6086. Um, or, you know, if you don't want to sign up, just come down that evening. You can actually get your bone density checked at the event to make sure if you uh, where you're at and what you might need to be doing in terms of uh, preventing osteoporosis in the future. So we're really excited about that event. We'll uh, be gearing up our Charlie's Angels group, so we'll have a reception at the end of the month. Want information on that? Please call our office. And I think mostly we'll just be kind of coming together as a team, you know, really preparing for a, a tough schedule and, and an awesome season.